Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Moonlighter! So, we will be going into the forest dungeon, but before we do that, we got quite a few items to sell. Let's do exactly that, I already placed them all. The most expensive ones are slightly overpriced, so the golem history ones. They are actually way overpriced right now, but I can always lower the price. We'll see, maybe somebody will buy them. We will find out. Yeah, see? She bought that. She didn't even complain about the price too much. Okay, that one might be a little bit too much. But sometimes all it takes is the right seller. Someone might buy it. But let's reduce the price by, let's say, 200, 3800. Here, a lot of items are being bought. Give me your money, thanks. I'll relieve you of it. Is this guy a thief? I'm not sure about that. Oh nice, we sold the spear. Yeah, that guy is actually a thief. Oh no, you don't. That's mine, thanks. I need to place it again. Alright, no problem. And another sale, nice one. And we also got Golem King Jottings. Let's see. We can try, let's say, 2200, something like that. 2200, we'll see. Maybe it will sell for that. We made quite a lot of money, almost 50,000 now. Exactly 47,000. That one was underpriced, apparently. Hey, a happy customer. Alright, we still got a lot of junk to sell, actually. Some of the less valuable crafting items. I don't really need all of them. Uh, hold on, that one is wishlisted, so maybe not. Alright, let's place a few more items. We already know the value of that one. Here, enjoy your purchase. So, let's take a look. Whetstone. Maybe some golem cords. We definitely don't need all of those. Here. Oh, we don't actually know how much the whetstone is worth, really. Let's see, slightly more than root. So probably like 8 gold or something like that. 8 or 9. Not really worth selling it at this point. But alright, we can do it anyway. This chest is empty. We are selling more. Let's grab the fabric. I don't think we need fabric anymore. Pretty sure we don't. Place that here. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this. We got 55,000 now. 56,000. And we are almost done here. So, anything else? I don't think we need the run tool. How about, yeah, this one. If we have the time. Water sphere, that's worth 85 or so. But we got 10 of them. Here's another sale. We will need the empowering crystals for item enchantments, so I'm not selling that. We can sell the one golem core, so that it won't take the space. We are basically almost done now. I think that's a thief down there. Not 100% sure about that. That's going to be the end of the sale. We got almost 60,000 gold. Nice here. Alright, let's just close the shop. We sold enough, I'm happy with this. Alright, let's see if we can make any more gear. I don't think I have enough vines to make the 200, unfortunately. No, we still need three more. Alright. Well, we will need items from the forest dungeon to upgrade, but I still need boats, if I remember right. Yes, I do. I think we can make those. Uh, yes, we can. So, let's go for Iron Boots. I don't really like the movement penalty. Iron Boots are fine. Here we go. And equip them right away. Now, we might want to bring some more healing potions. That would be a good idea, yes. Give me some potions. 
Yeah, these. I'll just use all the jelly. We should get the materials for better potions from the next dungeon. Alright, that will do. That's going to be 13 healing potions. So, let's hit the dungeon, shall we? I'm quite looking forward to it. And let's maybe wishlist some item. Yes, let's do that. Do we have anything wishlisted right now? We do, right? Uh, yes, we do. Let's remove those. I still want the 200 sword, so I will keep that wishlisted. But our first upgrade should probably be the weapon, as in this one. So we'll add that to the wish list, And let's go. I have no idea how much harder the forest dungeon is going to be. It will obviously have higher gear requirements. Can we actually go back to the first one or is it closed now? Apparently we can. Okay. I might go there at some point because I still need vines for that 200 sword. I assume we won't be able to get those from the second dungeon. But I'll probably do that off camera because the first dungeon is not exactly interesting anymore after we beat the boss. Well, here we are. We are already familiar with this environment because we had a few forest rooms. Okay then. Oh yeah, that's the bow. We don't want that. Well, this is going to be fun. Should probably use the shield more often in this one. I don't expect the first run to last very long. I just want to get some materials. Hopefully some materials for better potions too. Because these will not last very long. They only heal us for 40. That's not a lot. Okay, what's that? That mushroom. Upside down mushroom? Alright. Not all of these are very hard. As far as I can tell. Okay then. That's a dead end. So, since the first dungeon had some rare rooms with the second dungeon, I assume this dungeon will have some rare rooms with the third one. At some point. Oh nice, we can heal ourselves. Alright, onwards. I don't think I'll be going to the next floor. <laughs> no, not really. Definitely not prepared for that. Right now, I'm mostly focused on getting items for the upgrades. If we could upgrade the weapon and the shield, that would be great. Oh, that's actually, right, an enemy right there. Whoops. Let's just heal ourselves, since we are right here. Right next to the healing room. I assume this one will last for a little bit longer. As in, for more health. Onwards. Okay, that's nasty. Okay, that was actually a lot of damage. Down you go. Yeah, that was way more damage than I wanted to see. And this seems to be a dead end. This forest, full of its bright colors, seems a pleasant enough place. But do not let yourself become complacent. These bushes and trees could be the walls to your tomb. Okay, oh nice, we actually got the sword! That's the 200 sword that I wanted. Well then, I guess we won't have to go back to the first dungeon after all. We just need materials to upgrade this. We'll see. I like the swing speed of the basic sword and shield. And the shield was super useful on the boss. And I will keep the bow, obviously. In fact, let's keep the bow equipped for now. We can always leave the sword in our chest, back at our house. I will keep this equipped for now. This might come in handy in some situations. Certainly. Alright, let's heal ourselves, and then we can go north. We'll probably be out of healing power sometime soon. Alright, I don't like that boulder thing. Well, that's not really a boulder. It's throwing something at us. Not quite sure what exactly that is. I can block it. More materials. 
Yep, I'll take all of that. Let's just heal ourselves while we still can. Yep, that's all of it. Now we have to use potions. Okay. So I know these have ranged attacks, but I can block them. Not quite what I wanted there. Bye bye. So that looks like the next level. Did we clear this one already? No, we most certainly did not. Let's not leave just yet because all that will achieve is fighting harder enemies. And I'm sure we need plenty of materials from this floor. So yeah, we'll go this way. Oh, you know what? I really don't want to fight a mimic from this floor. That would be terrible. That was way more damage than I should have taken. Alright, more materials. Anything we can move in the inventory? Destroys one item, Kurtz. Alright, we can certainly do that. And then we can stack these. Like so. Yep. So, onwards. We got a few more rooms. Looks like this might be the last one. These ranged guys are quite squishy, but they do a lot of damage when they hit you. I can kill them in two or three attacks. Done. Okay, there are definitely some secrets around here. If we can call these secrets. Looks like we cleared the level? No, not yet. This way. Okay. Anything to see here? Well, we can read. Patterns. Oh yes, these dungeons do indeed have patterns. You may think they are random. You may even think they are chaotic. But no. No, they are actually quite the opposite. There is reason and repetition. Some sort of divine guide. A template of sorts, followed by... Every, followed every time dungeon rebuilds itself. For instance, we all know there are three floors to a dungeon. But have you noticed how this healing hot springs appears on every floor? Yes, I have. And how it always appears on the path towards the next floor. Place not only to assist and heal, but also guide. These dungeons basically want you to find the treasure. Yeah, sounds legit. So now we leave. Yup, we cleared everything. Alright, let's go. Unfortunately, I can't heal myself anymore. Well, other than with potions, I can obviously do that. We still got 10 more minor healing potions. They heal 40, which is not that much when we got 200 now. Alright, second floor. Let's see what's going to murder us over here. I will definitely leave before... I get killed. If it start looking rough, I will just leave. I don't want to lose all the materials I have on me. Obviously. Oh, we have to actually attack the leaves. Alright, fair enough. One down. Bye bye. Give me the loot. Oh, there was something new over there. Destroys one item in this direction, right, I definitely don't want to do that. Absolutely not. Our inventory is almost full, unfortunately. Okay, heal twice and then we can move on. Uh, now there are still some items on the ground. I'll take that, thanks. 19 out of 20 inventory space. That's some sort of artillery. Okay. Yep, we will take damage when we step into that. Okay. These items look new. Hey, get over here. Yes, you. Done. Time to clear the inventory slightly. What can we even get rid of right here? We can get rid of Empowering Crystal. We got quite a few back home, so I'll destroy that. Pure Acid. Rich Jelly. Right, that's used for the small healing potions, but I think it's also used for the bigger ones. It's just that the bigger ones also require a second ingredient. Not sure which one exactly that was. Probably this one, Venom Jelly. 
Well, a venom for a healing potion? That makes no sense. We'll find out when we go back home, probably. Okay, that looks new. That enemy in the middle, that's definitely new. Haven't seen that before. Okay, then let's kill that artillery. Hey, get over here. Okay, so how about we use the bow? This seems like the perfect enemy to use the bow against. Because he can't even attack us from range. There we go. And yep, full inventory, unfortunately. We do have quite a lot of life fluid. So we could just not pick this up. I'm not really sure which items here are valuable and which ones are not. Right now we don't need everything. We only have one straw. I guess we could get rid of that. Here. And pick up the life fluid. There we go. Hopefully I didn't just destroy something valuable. But it's fine, it's not like it's our only visit to this dungeon ever. Next. Oh, nice. So the exit is going to be this way. I don't think I want to go to the third floor. And no. I don't really feel confident enough in my gear to go to the third floor. Or in my crappy healing potions. This doesn't seem too bad so far though. I expected these enemies to be more tanky. Okay. Well, a few items on the ground. I can't pick everything up. What about the skeleton? Oh, that's one of the weapons. We can actually sell it. But what do we get rid of? Fertile soil? Not really. I don't want to destroy that. Fluid vessel? You know what we can do? We can use or just get rid of one potion. Yeah, let's just get rid of one potion. And I'll pick this up. If only because we can sell it. Fighter gloves. Yeah, we can definitely sell that for sure. I think it's time to leave. I mean, my inventory is full. There's nothing I really want to destroy. Let's just leave. We did enough, I think. Alright then, let's see if we can craft anything. Probably not yet, but who knows, maybe. I don't think we have enough to upgrade our weapon. Pretty sure we don't. So how about the two-hander? We can upgrade it right away. Okay, sword and shield. We need two more items that we haven't found at all. Alright, good to know. Oh, interesting. What's the difference between these two? Yeah, this one has a bonus. It does less base damage, but it has bonus against something. Venom Short Sword. So, some kind of acid bonus damage that will work well in the forest, I assume? Something like that. What about armor? Let's see, we should probably wishlist all of this. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's just wishlist all the armor. All the iron armor. We can almost upgrade one armor piece, actually. Yeah, I'm missing one item. Literally, just one item. Okay, good to know. And what about the bow? What does the bow require? I think I'm going to wishlist the bow. I do want to keep a ranged weapon. So wishlist that one too. Looks like the one at the bottom will be slightly easier to make. Maybe. Hard to tell just yet. I need more than one visit. Alright, let's sell a few things. So... Well, first of all, I'll place all of them in the chest. This one should be empty. So that's going to be the second dungeon chest for now. I will try to sell the gloves. I'm pretty sure I will not be using the gloves as any of my weapons. Primary, secondary or any. So we are just going to sell them. I'm not sure how much these are worth. 50 attack damage. They might actually be worth quite a bit. Well, I don't know. Let's say 3000. That's probably too much, but whatever. I don't care. I guess we should probably sell a lot of the materials from the first dungeon. Especially the more valuable ones. 
Okay. Strong leaves. That's from the second dungeon. Okay, let's sell some of these. Golem chisel? Sure. That's actually worth quite a bit. We can sell that. Okay. And let's price some of the new stuff. I wish listed everything that I'll need. Or everything that I want in the near future at least. Magic mushroom. So the cheapest item here is 60 gold. And the most expensive one is 5000. So the price difference isn't actually that big. Yeah. Well, anyway. Let's grab something at least. What should that be? Magic mushroom, 27th. Plant flesh, 28th. Life fluid, 20th. Okay, let's sell some life fluid. There seems to be a lot. And we don't actually need it for anything wish listed right now. I'm obviously keeping the sword. Magic wood. Okay, we could sell one, maybe. Or I guess we can sell both. Again, it's not wish listed. Forest fruits. Oh, that's the most valuable item we got so far. From the looks of it. Okay. Pure acid. 22nd on the list. Floyd vessel. 13th. I'll sell that. Fertile soil. 15th. Alright. Let's go with this. Now, we need some kind of reference point. How much was the 11th item worth in the Golem dungeon? We can price the other one like 50% higher. 540, but the person buying it wasn't happy. Let's price it at 800 or so. Something like that. Which one was it? This one. Let's price it at 800. We can always change it. Here. And we'll use that as reference point for now. So this can be, let's say, 700. Magic wood is worth way less. Fertile soil still worth something. I feel like this is a bit too low. Yeah, let's raise this slightly. Here, 1200. Okay, let's open. Alright people, buy my merchandise. We could also upgrade the tip pot. The next one is 20% tip. Okay, she bought that. She wasn't happy, but we got the money. And that was most too cheap. Right. We sold the runes. Right, so how about we raise the prices here, because that item just sold and it was too cheap. Let's raise them by a few hundred. Here, it's something like this. Enjoy your purchase. More people coming. Alright, let's grab a few more, shall we? What should we grab? We can sell iron bars. I suppose that's fine. They aren't exactly worth a lot. Magic mushroom, plant flesh. Right, plant flesh wasn't worth a whole lot, but we can still sell it. If only to know how much it's worth. Okay, there you go. Nobody is trying to steal anything. At least not right now. Magic wood, how much should that be? I don't know, 100-ish? Something like that. 120. Here you go. And yep, that one was too cheap, apparently. That was several thousand. Okay. 70? 80? 75. And one more. The life fluid. That's 20th on the list. No idea how much that might be worth. Let's try... 400? I feel like that's too much, but I don't know. We got 75,000 now. Nice. That went really well. 
And we aren't even done yet. We can still sell some basic items. As in items from the first dungeon. There are a lot that I will not be needing. I'm pretty sure we don't need Runtol. There's nothing else that I need to craft from the first dungeon, so... Oh, we don't even know how much the Runtol is worth. Okay. Probably... Hard to tell, actually. Let's try... 900? Okay, 900 will do. Alright. Buy things! There we go, we sold that one. We got some good data about the value of the loot from the second floor, or from the second dungeon, rather. Almost 80,000. Yeah, we will get 80,000 easily from this sale. As in, after the sale. So... We can sell more iron birds. I don't think we need petals either. Are the petals a second dungeon item? Uh, they actually are. Okay, fair enough. That was from the forest room in the third dungeon. Another sale. I'm just going to grab a few more. Yep, we won't be needing any of those. And we are almost done. 86,000. 90... 2000. Nice. This went way better than I expected. The second dungeon is way more profitable. Who would have thought? <laughs> we are almost done now. The shop will be closing in just a moment. We got almost 100k after this sale. There, 93, almost 94. There's the whetstone sale. Okay. Can we still place something before the shop closes? Maybe. Crystallized energy. I almost cleared out all the chests. It is getting dark. Here. More merchandise. Give me your money. Just throw it at the register. Appreciated. There you go. That will be the last batch. We might actually get 100k? No, I don't think so, but it's pretty damn close. 95,000 now, and we just closed. Alright, yeah, that's fine. I'm more than happy with this. Look at all of these sales, that's amazing. That was so good. We made 41,000. Alright then, so that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.